Have you ever stopped to ponder what time truly is? Time, it's a curious concept, isn't it? Indispensable to our existence yet elusive in its definition. It's a universal constant threading through the fabric of our lives yet it's perceived differently by every civilization, every individual. It's a constant companion, a silent observer, a ceaseless flow. It's the echo of the past, the breath of the present, and the promise of the future. But how did we come to measure time? And how has this measurement evolved over the centuries? The earliest humans were the first timekeepers using nature as their guide. To them, time was not a concept encapsulated in a wristwatch or a wall clock, but a phenomenon palpably intertwined with the world around them. In the beginning, our ancestors observed the rhythmic patterns of day and night, the waxing and waning of the moon, the shifting of the seasons, and the habits of the animals they shared their world with. These were the original timekeepers, the natural phenomena that provided a tangible rhythm to life. As humans evolved, so did their understanding and measurement of time. They began to notice the sun's predictable arc across the sky, leading to one of the first and simplest methods of timekeeping. The shadow stick. A stick placed upright in the ground would cast a shadow that moved as the sun traversed the sky. This was the precursor to the sundial, a device that used the sun's position to indicate the time of day. But what about the night or the cloudy days when the sun was obscured? Enter the water clock. Also known as a clepsydra, the water clock was a device used by ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians and the Greeks. It worked by slowly dripping or flowing water from one container to another. The passage of time was marked by the water level in the receiving container. The Egyptians took it a step further, creating a more complex water clock around 1400 BC that could track time in both day and night. This was a significant advancement in the history of timekeeping, as it allowed for more precise measurements and made timekeeping possible even when the sun wasn't visible. Yet, these methods of timekeeping were far from perfect. The sundial was useless without sunlight, and the water clock could be influenced by temperature and pressure changes. The lengths of days and nights also varied with the seasons, making consistent timekeeping a challenge. These early methods, while ingenious, were not without their limitations. But they laid the groundwork for the more advanced methods of timekeeping that would follow, marking the dawn of humanity's quest to accurately measure and understand time. As societies became more complex, so too did our methods of timekeeping. Enter the Middle Ages, a period of profound change and innovation, where one of the most iconic symbols of time made its debut, the hourglass. A simple yet brilliant contraption, the hourglass was a marvel of its era. Two glass bulbs connected by a narrow neck, with sand trickling down at a steady pace. The hourglass offered something that previous timekeeping methods lacked, precision. While sundials and water clocks were dependent on environmental factors such as sunlight and temperature, the hourglass was consistent and reliable. It provided a fixed measure of time that was not subject to the whims of nature. This newfound exactitude was transformative, opening up new possibilities in areas like navigation and science. Imagine the vast oceans of the world being traversed by seafarers. Accurate timekeeping was crucial in determining longitude, a key aspect of navigation. The hourglass, with its dependable flow, proved to be an invaluable tool on these voyages. In the realm of science, the precise measurement of time allowed for more accurate observations and experiments, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. But the Middle Ages didn't stop at the hourglass. The era also witnessed the birth of mechanical clocks. These intricate devices powered by weights and gears took timekeeping to a whole new level. Mechanical clocks offered a continuous display of hours and minutes, a stark contrast to the discrete chunks of time measured by the hourglass. They were installed in town squares and church towers, serving not only as a public display of time, but also as a symbol of communal identity and pride. These advancements in timekeeping during the Middle Ages laid the groundwork for the scientific revolution that was to follow. They transformed the way we perceive and measure time, influencing countless aspects of our daily lives. The invention of mechanical clocks was a game-changer, but timekeeping was about to undergo another revolution. The sands of time were shifting, and the clock was ticking towards a future of unimaginable precision. With the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, time took on a new significance. Gone were the days of relying on the sun, moon, or sand trickling through an hourglass. The world was ready for a new, precise way to measure time, and in the 17th century, the pendulum clock swung into the scene. Conceived by Galileo and perfected by Dutch scientist Christian Huygens, this invention was a game-changer. 
The pendulum clock's rhythmic swing and steady tick-tock offered a level of accuracy previously unattainable. This made possible the precise scheduling of work, transportation and daily life, fundamentally reshaping society. The world synchronized to the beat of this mechanical metronome, transforming how people lived and worked. The innovation didn't stop there. As the world moved faster, so did our need for timekeeping. Enter the wristwatch. Initially seen as a woman's accessory in the early 20th century, the wristwatch became a universal necessity during World War I, as soldiers needed an accessible way to synchronize maneuvers. Suddenly, time was literally at our fingertips. The wristwatch further refined our relationship with time. It enabled us to schedule our lives down to the minute, creating a society that was more organized and efficient than ever before. The concept of time as money was no longer a philosophical musing but a tangible reality. Every tick of the clock represented potential progress or lost opportunity. But this new way of life came with its own challenges. The constant awareness of time led to a sense of urgency and stress. We became slaves to the clock, our lives dictated by its relentless tick-tock. Yet, the societal transformations brought about by the pendulum clock and the wristwatch were revolutionary. They ushered in an era where time was no longer an abstract concept, but a measurable commodity. The Industrial Revolution brought time to our wrists, but our quest for precision was far from over. In the 20th century we took timekeeping to a whole new level. With the advent of quantum mechanics, we found ourselves capable of measuring time not just by the movement of celestial bodies or the mechanisms of a clock, but by the very essence of matter itself, atoms. Enter the atomic clock, a marvel of scientific ingenuity. The atomic clock doesn't measure time with gears or sand, but with the vibrations of atoms, specifically those of cesium. You see, a cesium atom oscillates or vibrates at a frequency of over 9 billion times per second. By harnessing these vibrations, we can measure time with extraordinary accuracy. The atomic clock isn't just a showpiece of scientific achievement, though, it's a cornerstone of many technologies we rely on today. Consider the Global Positioning System, or GPS. It works by measuring the time it takes for signals to travel from satellites to your device. Even a tiny error in timing could put you miles off course. But, thanks to the precision of atomic clocks, your GPS can pinpoint your location with near-perfect accuracy. And then there's the internet. High-speed internet relies on data packets being sent and received at incredible speeds. Without the precision of atomic clocks, these data packets could get lost in the digital ether, slowing down your connection. But with atomic accuracy, your favorite online content loads in the blink of an eye. In the grand scheme of human history, the atomic clock is a recent invention. Yet, it has revolutionized our world in profound ways. It has given us the ability to navigate with precision, to communicate at lightning speeds, and to probe the depths of the universe with newfound clarity. From observing natural phenomena to counting atomic vibrations, our understanding and measurement of time have come a long way. As we look to the future, who knows what other marvels of timekeeping await us. So, where does the future of time lie? As we journey into the cosmos of tomorrow, we may find ourselves standing at the brink of a new era in timekeeping. In a world where technology is evolving at a pace faster than the ticking of a second, it's reasonable to speculate that our understanding and perception of time could undergo a revolutionary transformation. In the realm of quantum physics, we're already exploring the concept of quantum clocks, which could potentially measure time with unprecedented accuracy. These clocks, harnessing the peculiar properties of quantum particles, could redefine the way we perceive time, making our current atomic clocks look like ancient sundials. Furthermore, as we continue to venture deeper into the cosmos, our understanding of time could drastically change. The effects of gravity and speed on time, as predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, could become everyday realities as we become a spacefaring civilization. We might even need new methods of timekeeping suitable for interstellar travel. And let's not forget the potential of artificial intelligence. As AI continues to evolve, it could provide insights into time and its mysteries that we can't even begin to comprehend today. Perhaps AI could even develop a new way of measuring time, based on principles we have yet to discover. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology and knowledge, who knows what the future holds for our understanding of time.